All right, so we're going to be working 90-90 uh, uh, or 90-90 pails and rails, focusing more on uh, hip external rotation. And so what we're going to be doing, I'll take you guys through the whole sequence, but uh, I want to first talk about positioning because when we go through our positioning, I, I want to make sure that, and I'll get to where you guys can see that, uh, I want to truly be in this 90-90 position, right? A lot of people will kind of cut it in here and go into shin box, right? Um, so cutting that angle in half. If this is where you, you have to start simply because you don't have this range of motion, right, in this position, that's fine. If you can get here, right, then, right, that's, that's obviously the best, uh, the best for us. But um, another thing, as I go to the front, is we wanna make sure that in this position that we aren't our rib cage isn't flared. I wanna make sure that my abs stay tight the entire time. So even if that means that I can't get upright here, that I can still be leaning to the side, but what I have to do is then push the floor away and make sure that you know my obliques are tight. So I can be leaning here, but my spine is still right, nice and straight, right? And this, if you get, if you maintain this position, a nice neutral spine, that's actually gonna help you elicit uh, more of a response from the hip versus trying to force this upright position and kind of be all out of sorts here, right? You're not gonna be integrated, right? So you're, I, I've seen a lot of people who, who try to get into this upright position and then shoot themselves forward and they're like, hey coach, I don't feel anything in my hip whatsoever, right? Even as we start to create tension and then as soon as I correct them, Right, and get them into a neutral position, get that core on, right, and regress that range of motion um, you know, to enhance that position, then the whole exercise changes for them. Okay? So keep that in mind. Right? So what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna be working this lead leg. And I want to make sure that my belly button is lined up okay, with this lead leg. All right? And so now what I'm gonna do is a lot of people, you'll see a lot of people kind of be hanging out here and you know, they can do this all day and you know, not really feel anything. That's not what we're going after, right? And, and most of the time you're gonna be rounded at that lower back, meaning you're stabilizing with your lumbar. So what I wanna think about doing is reaching, right, with my sit bones, okay? So what I mean by that is directly underneath that hip, I wanna be reaching back, right? Almost like an RDL, okay? So again, my abs are tight, and what I wanna do is I wanna act as if, right, if I place my hand here, I'm gonna come out, right, and I'm reaching out, right, and towards my leg with my belly button, right, and really hinging at that hip. So my hand is just kind of acting as a reference point of what I need to be doing at that hip joint. So right here, I'm really feeling that stretch deep in that hip capsule. My chest is up, my abs are still tight, and we're gonna hang out in this position. We're gonna hang out in this passive stretch anywhere from 90 seconds to two minutes, just diaphragmatic breathing, okay? So anytime I say rest, that's, this is what I mean. I wanna get in, I wanna maintain my position, but uh, I wanna practice that diaphragmatic breathing, right? So let's say our two minute passive stretch has gone by. Then on this first round, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start to push uh, you know, this portion of my leg, right? into the floor. Now, I'm not gonna go all at once. I wanna think about dialing up the tension, like I'm, I'm turning up the, the volume on my stereo, right? So that little knot that you have in your car, if you still have that, uh, you know, that just think about slowly dialing up that tension, okay? That's essentially what we wanna do here. So I'm gonna spend about, you know, 45 seconds, any, well, anywhere from 30, to 30 seconds to a minute, pushing into the floor, and I'm gonna ramp up to about 70% effort on this first round. So pushing, 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 pushing. I'm creating tension in that end range, okay, that I took myself into passively, right? So let's say that one minute has gone by, I'm at my 70% tension, then I'm going to think about lifting my leg up, up, up off of the floor. Because I'm in my end range, I'm not gonna actually be able to, um, but it's the intent that is going to allow us to pull ourselves into a deeper range, right? So right now I'm thinking about lifting my leg up towards my chest and I'm bringing myself forward, okay? So I can't really go anymore without compensating. Abs are still tight, belly button's still 
over that lead leg and I'm pulling, 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 pulling. And I'm going to be here for anywhere from, you know, probably 20, 30 seconds. Pulling myself into that new range. And then I'll say rest and I slowly want to ramp down that tension. And then I'm going to hold this passive stretch in this new range for another 90 seconds to two minutes. Okay. And then if I start that second round, if I'm working a second round, you know, in, in, in my classes usually we'll go anywhere from, you know, 90% effort to maximum effort of creating tension into the floor. Again, going about 45 seconds, just pushing, 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 ramping up that tension 45 seconds to a minute and then pulling myself into that new range again and holding that passive stretch, okay? So we're gonna repeat that process for about two rounds and then what I do is switch sides, right? And which also reminds me that, right, this is my least dominant leg here, so I'm gonna be in a little bit of a different position. My hips aren't exactly equal, so I can get more upright if my left leg is my lead leg than on my right side. So I know that I might have to, I have to find that position, right? So take your time with this, don't rush through it. Um, you know, make sure that you're, you're able to own your position and elicit, right, that stretch uh, and, you know, that, that contraction uh, in the hip joint, okay? And you're gonna really feel the difference. So uh, that is the 90-90 uh, pails and rails uh, focusing on hip external rotation.